Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Magic and welcome back to my channel. Now, before we start the video, just want to give a quick hello to everyone over at Zomunity. If you're watching on Zomunity and you like this video, make sure to go check out my channel. My channel is youtube.com forward slash magical, M-A-G-I-X-C-A-L. There will be a link in the description if you want to go check me out. Um, if you enjoy this video, of course. Um, anyways, so what we're doing today is we're going to be doing my top 5 favorite non-Wonder Weapon weapons in Call of Duty Zombies history. Now, just a disclaimer, this video is not meant to end discussion, it's meant to create discussion. So, if you do not agree with my list, feel free to leave your top 5 favorite non-Wonder Weapon weapons in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys think, um, and I do not want to start any drama with people just absolutely hating on me because I didn't include their favorite gun or something like that. So let's get into this video. So starting things off, we have the RPK at the number 5 spot. And this isn't really much of a surprise, I don't think, because LMGs are one of the most sought after weapons in zombies because um, they hold a lot of ammo in a magazine and they generally have a lot of side ammo. So they're somewhat the perfect weapon and they're rather powerful and they shoot um, particularly fast, especially the RPK. Um, I do not have the HK, uh, what's it called, HK11 or HK21 or something like that, HK11 maybe. Um, I don't have that on the list because it doesn't shoot as fast as I wish it would. Um, obviously, when you pack a punch, but dole tap on it, it's pretty good as well. But I've always preferred the RPK over the HK, and I know some people don't um, feel the same way. But I guess you could say those two are interchangeable on this list. But I would prefer the RPK myself. So a couple of things about the RPK is it comes with a hundred rounds in a magazine and 400 to the side for a total of 500 shots. Then when you upgrade it, it becomes the R115 Resonator, and it holds 125 in a magazine and 500 to the side for a total of 625 rounds, so you get a little, a little more ammo and you get a little more firepower, and this is just a really good weapon overall. Um, I remember using it on Ascension a lot. I played a lot, I played a lot of Ascension when that um, came out originally, and the RPK was one of the best weapons for that map, besides from like the Ray Gun and the Thunder Gun, but that was the gun that a lot of people wanted to get. Moving on to number four on the list, we have the Galil, or Jalil, or Galil, or whatever, however you guys say it. A lot of people say it different ways. I personally say Galil, um, but some people say it different ways. So a couple of things about the Galil. It has 35 rounds in a magazine, and 315 to the side for a total of 350 rounds total. That quick on-the-spot math right there. Keep me on my toes, uh, Call of Duty. I'm reading a... Okay, no, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, just mathematics, I know it. Um, <laughs> then when you upgrade it to the Lamentation, it has 35 rounds in a magazine again, and then 400 to the 90 side for a total of 525 rounds. Um, so the reason I have the Gleal on the list is because, again, I use this gun a lot on Ascension. It was another one of those weapons that was really sought after, and most people loved, loved it. It was one of the most uh, sought after assault rifles in general in Zombies, that and the Commando. Either or, it's, um... Galil or Commando, I was just as happy with either of them, but I think I liked the Galil a little bit more for some reason, just because it had a little bit more ammo um, overall, because ammo is the most important thing in zombies, and I think they, have, they cause the same amount of damage. Anyways, the next gun we have on the list is the MG42, and the reason I have the MG42 on the list is because, again, it's a light machine gun, and some of you guys might say the Browning deserves to be on this list. I did not put the Browning on this list. It's another weapon from World at War, an LMG. Um, the reason I don't have the Browning on this list and I have the MG42 instead is because the MG42 has the same uh, round capacity as the uh, Browning, and the MG42 reloads a lot quicker because it actually comes in a drum mag as opposed to the MG42's... Um, I don't even know what to call it. It's... It's in a chain. It's a chain of ammo. <laughs> my uh, my terms for this video are terrible. Anyways, uh, the MG42 reloads a lot quicker than the Browning, and that's why I have it on the list personally, and it's an LMG, so if I didn't say that already. Um, so yeah. Moving on to number two on the list, we have the PPSH. Now this is a weapon that only appeared in World at War, and a lot of people really didn't like that. They really loved this weapon, so they would have liked it to have been in the next Call of Duties, but sadly, it was only in World at War. So, as for this weapon, it holds 71 rounds in a magazine and 355 to the side, and then when it's upgraded to the Reaper, it holds 115 in a magazine and 700 to the side. So this weapon is awesome. It's a submachine gun that holds uh, the ammo of a light machine gun. It is awesome. The PPSH is one of the coolest weapons in Call of Duty, probably. It's one of my favorite weapons of all time in Call of Duty. Um, 
I would love that to be in the next Call of Duty. Black Ops 3 Zombies, bring the PPSH back. You do that, because, oh god, the PPSH is so cool. Um, anyways, <laughs> moving on to number one, we have the crossbow. That's a little bit of a surprise, isn't it? Um, hear me out. Um, in case you didn't know, the crossbow, when not upgraded, is terrible. <laughs> but when it's upgraded to the awful Lawton, it's actually rather good. Now, the crossbow is a single bolt weapon, and it holds one round because it's a single bolt, and then 12 to the side for 13 total shots. And the great thing about the Awful Lawton is when it's upgraded through the Pack-A-Punch machine, it becomes the Awful Lawton, like I've said like three times already, um, it actually has the ability to act as monkey bombs. So it's actually a really, really beast single-player weapon. Uh, whenever I play single-player um, in uh, the original Black Ops, I always look to get the crossbow because it acts as monkey bombs, and it's the perfect training gun to train zombies um, it's perfect for, especially on Dereze, because Dereze, there's good tra there's good training spots on Dereze, don't get me wrong, but the training spots are generally a lot tighter than on some other maps, so it's going to be a little more difficult, and you have the ability to get trapped a lot easier, so the great thing about the um, Awful Lawton is that if you get trapped, you can just instantly shoot it at the wall on the other side of the room, and they'll chase it, and I feel the best way to use this weapon, personally, is to actually shoot it really high in the wall, uh, really high at the wall, I mean. Um, not low or at the zombies, because if you shoot the zombies, it makes crawlers, because it's, it's not really powerful or anything, but it does make a lot of crawlers, um, and crawlers do mess up training a lot, uh, especially at high rounds, so generally, I like to shoot this thing um, high up at the wall so it doesn't actually hit the zombies, but they still chase it. Um, it's just a really good weapon, and I really like it. So, anyways guys, that's it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a comment telling me what your top 5 favorite non-Wonder Weapon weapons are in Call of Duty Zombies. I might make a couple of other these videos, uh, maybe my top 5 in World at War, my top 5 in Black Ops, my top 5 in Black Ops 2, uh, non-Wonder Weapon weapons of course, um, because I think you guys might like that. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Leave a comment saying cat on the grill if you want to, and my name is Magic, and I'm out.